And God called the dry land earth, and the gathering together of the waters called he seas. And God saw that it was good. And God said, Let the earth bring forth grass, the herb yielding seed, and the fruit tree yielding fruit after his kind, whose seed is in itself upon the earth. And it was so. And the earth brought forth grass, and herb yielding seed after his kind, and the tree yielding fruit whose seed was in itself after his kind. And God saw that it was good. And the evening and the morning were the third day. And God said, Let there be lights in the firmament of the heaven to divide the day from the night, and let them be for signs and for seasons and for days and years, and let them be for lights in the firmament of the heaven to give light upon the earth. And it was so. And God made two great lights, the greater light to rule the day and the lesser light to rule the night. He made the stars also. And God set them in the firmament of the heaven to give light upon the earth and to rule over the day and over the night and to divide the light from the darkness. And God saw that it was good. And the evening and the morning were the fourth day. And God said, let the waters bring forth abundantly the moving creature that hath life, and fowl that may fly above the earth in the open firmament of heaven. And God created great whales, and every living creature that moveth, which the waters brought forth abundantly after their kind, and every winged fowl after his kind. And God saw that it was good. And God blessed them, saying, be fruitful, and multiply, and fill the waters in the seas, and let fowl multiply in the earth. And the evening and the morning were the fifth day. And God said, Let the earth bring forth the living creature after his kind, cattle and creeping thing, and beast of the earth after his kind. And it was so. And God made the beast of the earth after his kind, and cattle after their kind, and everything that creepeth upon the earth after his kind. And God saw that it was good. And God said, Let us make man in our image, after our likeness, and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over the cattle, and over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God created he him, male and female created he them. And God blessed them, and God said unto them, Be fruitful, and multiply, and replenish the earth, and subdue it, and have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over every living thing that moveth upon the earth. And God said, Behold, I have given you every herb bearing seed which is upon the face of all the earth, and every tree in the which is the fruit of a tree yielding seed. To you it shall be for meat. And to every beast of the earth, and to every fowl of the air, and to everything that creepeth upon the earth, wherein there is life, I have given every green herb for meat. And it was so. And God saw everything that he had made, and behold, it was very good. And the evening and the morning were the sixth day. Chapter 2 Thus the heavens and the earth were finished, and all the host of them. And on the seventh day God ended his work which he had made, and he rested on the seventh day from all his work which he had made. And God blessed the seventh day, and sanctified it, because that in it he had rested from all his work which God created and made. These are the generations of the heavens and of the earth when they were created, in the day that the Lord God made the earth and the heavens, and every plant of the field before it was in the earth, and every herb of the field before it grew. For the Lord God had not caused it to rain upon the earth, and there was not a man to till the ground. But there went up a mist from the earth, and watered the whole face of the ground. And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground, and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, and man became a living soul. And the Lord God planted a garden eastward in Eden, and there he put the man whom he had formed. And out of the ground made the Lord God to grow every tree that is pleasant to the sight and good for food, the tree of life also in the midst of the garden, and the tree of knowledge of good and evil. And a river went out of Eden to water the garden, and from thence it was parted and became into four heads. The name of the first is Pison, 
That is it which compasseth the whole land of Havilah, where there is gold, and the gold of that land is good. There is Delium and the onyx stone. And the name of the second river is Gihon. The same is it that compasseth the whole land of Ethiopia. And the name of the third river is Hiddekel. That is it which goeth toward the east of Assyria. And the fourth river is Euphrates. And the Lord God took the man and put him into the garden of Eden to dress it and to keep it. And the Lord God commanded the man, saying, Of every tree of the garden thou mayest freely eat. But of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil thou shalt not eat of it. For in the day that thou eatest thereof thou shalt surely die. And the Lord God said, It is not good that the man should be alone. I will make him and help meet for him. And out of the ground the Lord God formed every beast of the field and every fowl of the air, and brought them unto Adam to see what he would call them. And whatsoever Adam called every living creature, that was the name thereof. And Adam gave names to all cattle, and to the fowl of the air, and to every beast of the field. But for Adam there was not found an help meet for him. And the Lord God caused a deep sleep to fall upon Adam, and he slept. And he took one of his ribs, and closed up the flesh instead thereof. And the rib which the Lord God had taken from man made he a woman, and brought her unto the man. And Adam said, This is now bone of my bones, and flesh of my flesh. She shall be called woman, because she was taken out of man. Therefore shall a man leave his father and his mother, and shall cleave unto his wife, and they shall be one flesh. And they were both naked, the man and his wife, and were not ashamed. Chapter 3 Now the serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field which the Lord God had made. And he said unto the woman, Yea, hath God said, Ye shall not eat of every tree of the garden? And the woman said unto the serpent, We may eat of the fruit of the trees of the garden, but of the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden, God hath said, Ye shall not eat of it, neither shall ye touch it, lest ye die. And the serpent said unto the woman, Ye shall not surely die. For God doth know that in the day ye eat thereof, then your eyes shall be opened, and ye shall be as gods, knowing good and evil. And when the woman saw that the tree was good for food, and that it was pleasant to the eyes, and a tree to be desired to make one wise, she took of the fruit thereof, and did eat, and gave also unto her husband with her, and he did eat. And the eyes of them both were opened, and they knew that they were naked, and they sewed fig leaves together, and made themselves aprons. And they heard the voice of the Lord God walking in the garden in the cool of the day. And Adam and his wife hid themselves from the presence of the Lord God amongst the trees of the garden. And the Lord God called unto Adam and said unto him, Where art thou? And he said, I heard thy voice in the garden, and I was afraid because I was naked, and I hid myself. And he said, Who told thee that thou wast naked? Hast thou eaten of the tree whereof I commanded thee that thou shouldest not eat? And the man said, The woman whom thou gavest to be with me, she gave me of the tree, and I did eat. And the Lord God said unto the woman, What is this that thou hast done? And the woman said, The serpent beguiled me, and I did eat. And the Lord God said unto the serpent, Because thou hast done this, thou art cursed above all cattle and above every beast of the field. Upon thy belly shalt thou go, and dust shalt thou eat all the days of thy life. And I will put enmity between thee and the woman, and between thy seed and her seed. It shall bruise thy head, and thou shalt bruise his heel. Unto the woman he said, I will greatly multiply thy sorrow and thy conception. In sorrow thou shalt bring forth children, and thy desire shall be to thy husband, and he shall rule over thee. And unto Adam he said, because thou hast hearkened unto the voice of thy wife, and hast eaten of the tree of which I commanded thee, saying, Thou shalt not eat of it, cursed is the ground for thy sake. In sorrow shalt thou eat of it all the days of thy life. Thorns also and thistles shall it bring forth to thee, and thou shalt eat the herb of the field. In the sweat of thy face shalt thou eat bread, till thou return unto the ground. For out of it wast thou taken, for dust thou art, and unto dust shalt thou return.
And Adam called his wife's name Eve, because she was the mother of all living. Unto Adam also, and to his wife, did the Lord God make coats of skins, and clothed them. And the Lord God said, Behold, the man has become as one of us to know good and evil. And now, lest he put forth his hand, and take also of the tree of life, and eat, and live forever. Therefore the Lord God sent him forth from the garden of Eden to till the ground from whence he was taken. So he drove out the man, and he placed at the east of the garden of Eden cherubims and a flaming sword which turned every way to keep the way of the tree of life. Chapter 4 And Adam knew Eve his wife, and she conceived, and bare Cain, and said, I have gotten a man from the Lord. And she again bare his brother Abel. And Abel was a keeper of sheep, but Cain was a tiller of the ground. And in process of time it came to pass that Cain brought of the fruit of the ground an offering unto the Lord, and Abel he also brought of the firstlings of his flock and of the fat thereof. And the Lord had respect unto Abel and to his offering. But unto Cain and to his offering he had not respect. And Cain was very wroth, and his countenance fell. And the Lord said unto Cain, Why art thou wroth, and why is thy countenance fallen? If thou doest well, shalt thou not be accepted? And if thou doest not well, sin lieth at the door. And unto thee shall be his desire, and thou shalt rule over him. And Cain talked with Abel his brother, and it came to pass when they were in the field, that Cain rose up against Abel his brother, and slew him. And the Lord said unto Cain, Where is Abel thy brother? And he said, I know not, am I my brother's keeper? And he said, What hast thou done? The voice of thy brother's blood crieth unto me from the ground. And now art thou cursed from the earth, which hath opened her mouth to receive thy brother's blood from thy hand. When thou tillest the ground, it shall not henceforth yield unto thee her strength. A fugitive and a vagabond shalt thou be in the earth. And Cain said unto the Lord, My punishment is greater than I can bear. Behold, thou hast driven me out this day from the face of the earth, and from thy face shall I be hid. And I shall be a fugitive and a vagabond in the earth, and it shall come to pass that everyone that findeth me shall slay me. And the Lord said unto him, Therefore, whosoever slayeth Cain, vengeance shall be taken on him sevenfold. And the Lord set a mark upon Cain, lest any finding him should kill him. And Cain went out from the presence of the Lord, and dwelt in the land of Nod, on the east of Eden. And Cain knew his wife, and she conceived, and bare Enoch. And he built a city, and called the name of the city after the name of his son, Enoch. And unto Enoch was born Irad. And Irad begat Mehujael, and Mehujael begat Methusael, and Methusael begat Lamech. And Lamech took unto him two wives, the name of the one was Ada, and the name of the other Zillah. And Ada bare Jabal. He was the father of such as dwell in tents, and of such as have cattle. And his brother's name was Jubal. He was the father of all such as handle the harp and organ. And Zillah she also bare Tubal Cain, an instructor of every artificer in brass and iron. And the sister of Tubal Cain was Naamah. And Lamech said unto his wives Ada and Zillah, Hear my voice. Ye wives of Lamech, hearken unto my speech. For I have slain a man to my wounding, and a young man to my hurt. If Cain shall be avenged sevenfold, truly Lamech seventy and sevenfold. And Adam knew his wife again, and she bare a son, and called his name Seth. For God said she hath appointed me another seed instead of Abel, whom Cain slew. And to Seth, to him also, there was born a son, and he called his name Enos. Then began men to call upon the name of the Lord. Chapter 5 This is the book of the generations of Adam. In the day that God created man, in the likeness of God made he him. Male and female created he them, and blessed them, and called their name Adam in the day when they were created. And Adam lived an hundred and thirty years, and begat a son in his own likeness, after his image, and called his name Seth. And the days of Adam after he had begotten Seth were eight hundred years, and he begat sons and daughters. And all the days that Adam lived were nine hundred and thirty years, and he died. 
And Seth lived an hundred and five years and begat Enos. And Seth lived after he begat Enos eight hundred and seven years and begat sons and daughters. And all the days of Seth were nine hundred and twelve years, and he died. And Enos lived ninety years and begat Cainan. And Enos lived after he begat Cainan eight hundred and fifteen years and begat sons and daughters. And all the days of Enos were nine hundred and five years, and he died. And Cainan lived seventy years and begat Mahalaleel. And Cainan lived after he begat Mahalaleel eight hundred and forty years and begat sons and daughters. And all the days of Cainan were nine hundred and ten years, and he died. And Mahalaleel lived sixty and five years and begat Jared. And Mahalaleel lived after he begat Jared eight hundred and thirty years and begat sons and daughters. And all the days of Mahalaleel were eight hundred ninety and five years, and he died. And Jared lived an hundred sixty and two years, and he begat Enoch. And Jared lived after he begat Enoch eight hundred years and begat sons and daughters. And all the days of Jared were nine hundred sixty and two years, and he died. And Enoch lived sixty and five years and begat Methuselah. And Enoch walked with God after he begat Methuselah three hundred years and begat sons and daughters. And all the days of Enoch were three hundred sixty and five years. And Enoch walked with God, and he was not, for God took him. And Methuselah lived an hundred eighty and seven years and begat Lamech. And Methuselah lived after he begat Lamech seven hundred eighty and two years and begat sons and daughters. And all the days of Methuselah were nine hundred sixty and nine years, and he died. And Lamech lived an hundred eighty and two years and begat a son, and he called his name Noah, saying, This same shall comfort us concerning our work and toil of our hands, because of the ground which the Lord hath cursed. And Lamech lived after he begat Noah five hundred ninety and five years and begat sons and daughters, and all the days of Lamech were seven hundred seventy and seven years, and he died. And Noah was five hundred years old, and Noah begat Shem, Ham, and Japheth. Chapter 6 And it came to pass, when men began to multiply on the face of the earth, and daughters were born unto them, that the sons of God saw the daughters of men that they were fair, and they took them wives of all which they chose. And the Lord
Ok, hermanos. Good so, to go. Disculpen que tenemos tecnología. Problemas. Problemas de tecnología. Sorry, we got technology problems Technical. here. <laughs> Technical problems. <laughs> so, we're trying to get it together here. Anyway, thank you for joining us and uh, want to praise the Lord this morning for this is the day the Lord has made. Well, how cold is it where you are? <coughs> because here in Texas, it's getting cold. Anyway, I think it's going to be nine degrees this, uh, this weekend or Monday. Anyway, I hope you guys are grabbing all your blankets and, you know, in Texas, in Texas, uh, this is like a tropical Stay yeah. in, I mean, I'm the reason for the technical problems. Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, poor David. He I was know. trying to get things together. So, yeah, in Texas, we, we're supposed to be getting cold weather, like 90 degrees. That's, that's it was cold, cold last night. I haven't been out today. I, I don't know. It's, that's that's like, that's like I being see in birds Montana. In the air. Anyway, está frío aquí en Texas, así es que a sacar todas las... Todas las cobijas para calentarnos, este, ¿cómo están por allá todos? Este, disculpe que teníamos problemas, pero ya está resolvido. Tenemos una, este, uh, una lista de, de, muy, de oración, de oración mucha gente. Pero qué bueno que tenemos un Dios que contesta. Amén, gracias. ¿Estás hablando inglés? Oh, ok. You, you speak in Spanish. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah. So, But, uh, how yeah. great we have a God that answers all of our prayers <laughs> yeah we have a huge list of prayers so thank you for joining us or so even if you can't join us just send us the prayer request because a lot of you are working so yeah. los que no pueden estar aquí con nosotros pues nos envían sus oraciones and we'll pray por ustedes. yeah amen yeah yeah amen. it's really great well let's just open up with the word of prayer and, Vamos then we'll, a orar. and then we'll take some of the you know we'll focus on some of the prayer requests that amen. have come in Heavenly Father, thank you, God. This yes, is yes, a yes. wonderful opportunity to come boldly before your throne of grace yes, to find yes, grace to help yes, and yes. mercy in time of need. Lord, thank you for your mercy, God. Thank you for your justice. Mm -hmm. Thank you for, um, well, just thank you for who you are this morning. God, you're, you're wonderful. It's so wonderful to wake up and, and, and start the day or be in the day uh, with you, Jesus. You are a friend that sticks closer than a brother. So we pray for our audience today that uh, what we do and say here and pray here will will um, augment or or increase the faith of um, many people yes. and uh, God we are at a time where um, we want to use the faith that we have our faith is in you Jesus yes. and when the whole world crumbles around us Jesus you are the rock of all ages you don't yes, change you you're the same today yesterday and forever and ever and ever and ever and eternally yes, forever you're the same god and i thank you that we uh we just have this fellowship with you god yes, so Jesus. let us uh join the family and break bread this morning and have a wonderful time of prayer with everyone yes Jesus. please father in jesus name amen amen so we also <coughs> pray in, in spanish Padre, te damos gracias por esta mañana, por estar aquí con nosotros nuevamente. Sí, señor. Volvimos a tu presencia, Señor. Sabemos que tú siempre estás con nosotros. Mm. Es una de tus yes. promesas que tú dijiste que tú estarás con nosotros hasta el fin del mundo. Y aunque tenemos el Espíritu Santo que diariamente está con nosotros día y noche, sabemos, Señor, que confiamos, ponemos toda nuestra confianza completamente en ti este día, dándote la gloria, Señor. Señor, sabemos que este, aunque el mundo alrededor de nosotros está en caos, pero sabemos, Dios, que tú eres nuestro creador, <risa> nuestro paz. Dios poderoso, grande en batalla, Padre. Y la paz tuya reina sobre nosotros. Sí, Señor. Aunque haya tormentas a nuestro gracias. alrededor, aunque el bote se esté tambaleando de un lado al otro, sabemos, Señor, que tú estás dentro del bote, que tú estás en, nuez, en medio nuestro. Y este día ponemos toda nuestra confianza, ponemos todas nuestras peticiones a tus manos, Señor. Tú sabes la necesidad de cada uno y entiende todas nuestras necesidades. Pero este día levantamos, Señor, tu nombre en alto y levantamos banderas. Sí, Señor, 
porque tú mereces toda la gloria, la honra, el imperio y la majestad es tuya, en el nombre de Jesús. Amén. 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 What a privilege to carry everything to God in prayer. <laughs> Excuse my being out of tune, but... <laughs> so I'm not a professional. I won't quit my day job, okay? But... Uh, What a friend we have in Jesus that that line comes from. So I want you to know that you have a friend in Jesus Amen. right now, right this minute. Amen. Okay. So we've got a number of things we want to pray for. You want to start the list off here because it's yeah. your handwriting. Uh, yeah. And it's far away from David. <laughs> and it David. looks like, looks like, oh, bye-bye, <laughs> Zieger. Oh, granddaughter. Okay. David oh. cannot read that far, so anyway. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I do have glasses, and they work well up close, but at, at a distance, far. things are a little rough. Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, we, oh. we received a few prayer requests this morning on uh, Messenger, okay. and I'm going to name the names, but, uh, but we also going to pray, you know, for, uh, we're going to keep praying for everybody on the list. So uh, Bob Lenz asked prayer for his granddaughter, Uh, for God to reach out and okay, so you want to just pray for these one by one and let's let let's go. I was go. just going to yeah, if you want to. I thought we can mention okay. all the names, but whatever okay. is easier for you. No, that's people. fine. That's fine. You're the boss. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the boss, but husbands love your wives as Christ loved the church. So whatever you want, I concede. Oh, isn't that <laughs> <Okay>. sweet? <laughs> okay. It's Go ahead. <laughs> okay, so also we have a praise report for from Tom Hatcher that he's doing very good. Yeah, praise. Woohoo! Thank you, Jesus. And also William uh, Rodriguez. Billy. Billy. We, we called him Billy as a kid. Now yeah. he uses William. <laughs> yeah, well, he's all grown up <laughs> Sorry, like Billy. us. And we thank the Lord, Billy, for your, <laughs> for your healing. Thank yes. you, Jesus, that you heard our prayers. And uh, there have been a bunch of other, you know, uh, people that said that they have received healing. Yeah. Oh, uh, Michael. Michael Seaver. No, yeah. No, no. We prayed this morning. Uh, we've been praying for him. And we yeah, he got healing. Praise the Lord for him. And uh, so we continue to pray for everybody, you know. Yeah. I mean, uh, We continue to pray for my brother Kike, Luis, for his eyes to be healed, and for Sarah. Sarah, we, we're still praying for your eyes and, yeah. and my eyes. I talked eyes. to Jim yesterday, and uh, yeah. uh, we have been praying for you, Sarah, all right. the time. Right. But we're going to keep praying because mm -hmm. we're going to believe that God's going to... He's, he's going to finish the work that he's begun in you. Amen. It's Amen. not a question of can God do a miracle because yeah. she needs a miracle. She's yeah. beyond the... The medical pale of like you know here take you know take two aspirin call me in the morning she she's way way past that yes amen and we keep trusting <coughs> God for that and for my eyes too my eyes are not doing too good either so uh, I also want to keep praying for Tootie uh, is the Hansons she I, had a stroke Tootie had a stroke their, their Hansons uh, I think is her son's mother-in-law. She had a stroke. So, Tootie, right. we're praying for you today, and we're praying for the Lacey and Pat family, total restoration, restoration, Jet's new heart, uh, and everybody that, all the children that need salvation and all that kind of stuff. There's a lot of people healing. Uh, also, um, um, I also wrote here, see if I can find the Brendan Tucker, Uh, praying for you, for their children, and also for um, Lisa. Brandon Tucker, you're a miracle man. You yeah. are a miracle. God. I'm sure you're a great father too. <laughs> yeah. So I pray that God gives you grace. But I mean, and God spared his life. He got hit by that truck. You yes, know. thank you, Lord, that you're a miracle. As a pedestrian. Yes, and yeah. I also want to pray for um, let Haiti. Uh -huh. You to can't stop. read your own writing, can you? <laughs> Haiti to stop smoking. No, my eyes are not that great. Stop smoking and for many other <laughs> Either issues. Either is your handwriting. <laughs> okay, okay. You're so funny. All right. <laughs> Apparently <He re> not. <laughs> rejoices in, yeah. in bad things. Okay, so uh, Heidi, we pray for you. Lisa choked. She asked for... Uh, 
for for God to help them with their jobs, for their finances, because they're losing a lot yeah. of stuff. So we're praying for Lisa. And uh, Happy. actually, I think um, there's Connie Vincent. She asked for healing. Connie, we're praying for you. And uh, yeah. You, oh. you need anything else? No, no, no. It's just that. I can't read it, and I'm never going to remember all these names. So you go ahead and you start <laughs> praying know, for I all the group. I know, but I wanted to speak them out because there are people listening, and I want them to know that we are going to pray. Even if we don't say everybody's name, we're still going to pray for everybody. Well, I want to pray for each person. I, yeah. I, 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 you know, I mean, God knows all the prayer requests all over the world, but I, I, I do want to pray for them. Okay, so if you, could, if you could start us and lead us, because I can't remember all those people. I'm okay. sorry. <laughs> I can't see that far. Either. Okay. Okay. We're okay. going to pray for Bob Lance, his granddaughter. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we come before the throne of grace asking you for mercy, Father. You say in your word, God, that wherever there's two or three together in your name, mm -hmm. you are in the midst of it. You hear our cry, oh God. To hear and and more Father out God, there. I pray for Bob Lance, Lord, for his family, his children, grandchildren. God, you know. The needs, you know, the situation, what they're going through. Intervene, Father, right yes, now. Yes, Lord, intervene. Send your word right now, Father. And I pray, Father, that you raise up this this generation, these kids, Father. I pray for the fathers, Lord, to to be good fathers, Lord God, to be strong and encourage, Lord, that they will not be, Lord, lacking on your word, that they put the seed of your word in the hearts of these kids, Father God. Raise him up, Lord God, to be strong, Father, not to be uh, worried about what the children think or say, but to put your word into their hearts, Lord, to be the guidance to these children. Father, our children need guidance. This generation needs guidance. And only through us, Lord, we have your word. And it's only through us, Lord, that we can do that. And I pray that every opportunity as a father and grandfather, Lord, that we can use it to put the word of God, the seed of your word in the hearts of our grandchildren, God, and, and to pray for them, Lord, that they will turn away, that they will reach out to you, God. You are the only hope that we have for this generation. And I ask you, God, that you help us as fathers and grandfathers and mothers and grandmothers, Lord, to, to be encouraged by your word and to know that we put in a seed of hope into to the hearts of our grandchildren and children and even all the children, Father, that are lost. Father God, today we pray for the prodigal sons and daughters. And we ask you, Father, that you bring into the knowledge of who you are and give them hope. Yes, Father, in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Yes. Okay. Well, you know, uh, Bob is somebody that I've known for quite some time. And so, um, mm -hmm. uh, thank you, Jesus. Yes. Thank you, God, for thank touching God. his granddaughter. Yes, and, uh, Jesus. And we also have a, um, I talked to a friend, Carl, yesterday, who's got uh, uh, daughters going off to college, and so we want to keep that in prayer. Father, I ask that you yes. give them the right place to send their girls. They're, they're a Christian mom and dad who want to yes, um, who want their daughters to be trained up in the ways of the Lord, and they have been all their lives, but now it's time to become independent and launch off into a, a university of some kind, Father. Yes, and uh, by observation, that's, that's, that's kind of a... A scary thing because um, it's not that the gospel can't be defended it's just that the peer pressure is uh, well God the purpose of universities was never originally intended to be a brainwashing experience God but rather a place where kids could learn critical thinking and they could challenge one another's ideas without without uh, without this kind of um, sophistry God situation going on where there is no you there is only me and I'm your teacher and I tell you what reality is and what to think God there's there they don't they don't they don't even permit challenges these days of differences and etiologies or variations of them there's just 
whatever the teacher says is it, God. That was never the intention. When Harvard and Yale started, they were to train for Bible literacy. That's why education came to America, God, so that we could learn to read our Bibles, mm -hmm. God, and sure all the other advantages fell in and textbook and technical information and how to put your kid's Break toy together chains, at Christmas Lord. or whatever. In yeah, the God, that <coughs> has been a fabulous doors. help, God. But the underlying yes, need Jesus. was your word, God. So I pray, God, for and Carl and teachers. his wife and that, uh, and that they would the be guided by wisdom wherever they yes, send their, their, their children um, off gone. to school, Father. Yes. God, I also pray for, uh, we have a friend, Lisa Ann, God, that yeah. um, also, Lisa Lord, is in a very difficult situation. Yes, uh, she's pray concerned. She's concerned about her children. Lord, for her children. <coughs> Excuse me. Lord, she's concerned about her children. And uh, I ask that you intervene yes, in Jesus. that and you do what's Save, right, God. You you uh, you hearts, just, um, God, I, I, I can't even imagine all the, family, all the different Lord. opportunities and restore decisions, God. But family. in a situation, Encourage God, that's same. very difficult and uh, for a number of reasons, God, that you would give, uh, uh, that Listen, you would take those, child, th those children's Encourage lives and word. just take charge, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Let, uh, let, let mom mm -hmm. have free reign with them, God, and, yes. and really let them, let them just have the kind of relationship where, um, where she can pour hearts. into them yes, your Lord. word, yes, God. Jesus. And uh, Father, that their lives will be to the honor and the glory mm -hmm. of, of you, Father. And we yes, thank you. Yes. We thank you for that. Yes, Amen. and I pray for Lisa and for God to <coughs> encourage her and strengthen her. And Lord, I pray that you show her the way. Lord, where she should go and what to do, God. She's relying on you. And she's laying at your feet all her burdens, all her needs. Lord, total restoration for Lisa. Yes, I ask God. your encouragement this morning, God, that your Holy Spirit will guide her by yes, your God. truth, yes. Jesus' name. Amen, amen. Yes. And you had mentioned that Heidi talked to you? Yeah, Heidi needs to stop smoking. Heidi, and, okay, yeah. I thought you said someone else, but you know me, I don't Heidi. hear very well. Yeah. You know better than anybody out there yes. <laughs> how selective my hearing can be. <laughs> you want me to pray for Heidi? Oh, yeah, okay, yeah. Father God, Let's in get the name her of this. Jesus, I ask you, Lord, restoration, Lord, in the heart of Heidi, strength, yeah. encouragement, Father, I pray, God, that you guide Heidi by your spirit, that you show her the way that she doesn't lean on her own understanding, that but right. she will put her trust in your word, in you, Lord, knowing that you have saved her, that you have changed her, that she belongs to you. Don't let the enemy lie to her heart, God. And I ask you, Father God, that you give her the courage and that you give her, Lord, the power of the Holy Spirit to come against all these attacks of the enemy and all these things that are trying to control her life, Lord. Teach her to have the authority, Lord, to say no, Lord, to those things that are coming against her and to stand, Lord God, in your word, knowing, God, that you have a plan for her life. I ask you, Lord, total restoration in her spirit, yes, bless in her Heidi, life. Jesus. Bless her with your presence to say, oh God, and heal her, Lord, for smoking, Lord, take away <coughs> all those desires, all those things, Lord, that bother her to have that relationship with you. Encourage her today by your word, Jesus. Yes. Amen. 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 All right, Heidi, we can do all things through Christ who strengtheneth Amen. us. It, Amen. it, 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 uh, now it may, it may, you remember the Jesus movement, how many people we prayed for that yeah. all the desires left, but yet I watched yeah, I in remember. later years, um, I actually used to smoke and I, 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 yeah. I hated smoking because the taste in your mouth, it just, it, it would just, <laughs> I mean, for me, I if you know. smoke and you like smoking, okay, uh, that, you know, enjoy it, live on, ho hopefully. But I hated it. I thought it was nasty. And, uh, but I um, quit smoking because I didn't want to smoke anymore. Mm -hmm. But guess what? I got saved. I became a Christian two weeks after I stopped smoking. 
So wow. I didn't go back because I God had become a this, Christian. Right. Now, whether or not I would have returned, of course, you could use uh, Mark Twain was the one who wrote, um, well, he wrote Huckleberry Finn and Tom Sawyer and all that one. But he mm -hmm. also wrote a little line. He said, it's easy to quit smoking. I've done it hundreds of times. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's not and, easy. Uh, but um, any vice, yeah. any vice is not easy. It doesn't even have to be smoking. It could be anything else. Yeah, yeah. But for the power of God, there we go. And Heidi, I know you, okay, and uh, I know you know Jesus, and so you've got you you got the help of heaven. Amen. You know, just rely and, on uh, the word of yeah. God. Stand and if the desire it. goes away, which which mine did, I'm praying against that. You know, I'm not even tempted for drugs, and I did drugs. I can't tell you how how, how much. How many times, you know, marijuana is a big recreational thing right now. I smoked pot all my life, every it's single horrible. day. I mean, you know, as a kid, as an adolescent, and you know, about 13 years of age and, and, and up. Yeah. And it's like, um, am, am I tempted? I am so not tempted to go back to drugs. I mean, that's just pot, LSD, and a whole, you know, I... I was a hippie, okay, so so that's it. Nice, but that nice. lifestyle, um, no, no, I, I, it, it doesn't. The, the desire is gone. The thrill Thank is you, gone. Lord. As BB King, if you're as old as I, there's a guy named BB King that used <laughs> to play a blues guitar. He actually had, you know, he had a guitar named Lucille, but he played it all the time, <laughs> and he he made a very he made a song popular called "The Thrill Is Gone," and. Uh, the thrill is gone, baby. You know, and he played his guitar. And wow. uh, I'd like to dedicate that song to the devil, okay? <laughs> Sorry, the thrill is That's gone. Right. It's and you gone. You know, what kind of thrill is that when you <laughs> you are a slave to bondage? Yeah. That's not a thrill. No. That is, that is something that the enemy put in front of us to make it feel like thrill. But actually, it's a bondage. We are slave to sin. But the Bible, but you know, there is a song that say, "I'm no longer slave to sin," yeah. and I love that yeah. song. I that's think a that's, Christian song. BB yeah. King didn't write that one. No, <laughs> yeah. but it's an awesome song, and and that you know, we have to remember that when we come to Christ, you know, let's let's stand on His word. Let's let's believe oh, yeah. that He's able he's to so do. Much better. Why why would I give up what I have in Jesus? What to go get high? Give me a break. But that's, really? that's slavery, actually, really? and it it's keeps stupidity. you... stupidity. I'm sorry. For me, it would be stupidity. Yeah, well, we yeah. don't want to be a slave to that kind of stuff. So anyway, we, we're we going to pray for Adriana Arroyo Roberto. Okay. Uh, what did we pray for them? Yes. What is their prayer uh, She request? just asked for prayer. Okay, so... She didn't give details, and, Adriana and that's fine. God Roberto. has the details. Father God, okay. we pray for Adriana this morning and Roberto, and we ask you, Lord, that you encourage them. Yes, Lord, God, Father whatever God, their need is, you yes. need it. Yes, Father God, we lift them up to you, encourage their hearts, their lives, Lord. Father God, I know that we, everybody has something in our lives, Father, and, and we just ask you, Holy Spirit, to encourage your people today, to encourage them and to know, Lord, that you have the last word to this to this world, God, help us, Lord, to trust you and to depend yes. on your word, God, and you, Lord. You are our only hope, Father, and That's only true. you, Lord Jesus, is the one that we cry unto you this day, God. And we ask you, Lord, we release unto you all anxieties, all discouragement, everything, whatever is going on, God. Help us, Lord, to stay focused on you. And I pray, Lord, that you help Roberto and Adriana, to stay focused, Lord, and to be encouraged by the, your word, and to know, Lord, that your word is powerful, to take the authority against all the attacks of the enemy that's coming against them, whether it be sickness, discouragement, whatever it is, Lord, even families, Lord, I pray, God, that they be encouraged today by your word, that you are our only hope in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Wonderful Savior. Yes. Amen. Okay. Uh, Tom, I'm so glad you're feeling good. I love that praise Tom report. Hatcher, yes. Tom and I go, you know, we were off preaching in the hills of Mexico yeah. a million years ago. <laughs> Tom and I have been to Cuba. Remember Cuba? Well, Tom, was, Tom you were actually born in Cuba. Wow. He was, he was born there. That. Yeah, and he was, yeah, yeah. And he was wondering about, you know, like if I go back, are they going to find out that I'm That's supposed awesome. to live here and stuff like that? Or 
I'm supposed to be one of them and, and all yeah. that. But uh, no, he got, out, he, he got out of there at a very young age, you know. And uh, as a matter of fact, there's a woman I would like to pray for. I met, I saw a little sidewalk stand that said Cuban coffee. Oh, and yeah. I went in and I a asked her if she's she was Cuban. Cuban. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And she was, um, I, I don't know how old she was. And <clears throat> I actually have a rule, which I almost broke, not to guess women's age. Thank you. <laughs> it just, it just, it just never worked out well for me. Age and weight, stay. Age, weight, and IQ. <laughs> we, we won't say that about men, okay? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. So anyway, um, oh, uh, I, I asked her if she was Cuban, and she said, "Yeah." I said, "You know," or and she said, "There's not a lot of people around today." And I said, "Well, I think people are a little." like spooked people are a little freaked out about our um Fear. our love affair with socialism and communism and all that and she just stared at me she's a cuban and she said uh i know i'm taking my children to spain i'm getting out of this wow. country i've been here i've seen this i've been through this before and i'm not going through it again and wow. uh so that opened the door for me to give her a track and witness to her and say, you can run the Spain. I don't know. <clears throat> um, Juan Carlos is, uh, he, <laughs> he's in exile. He's in exile now. I told her anyway. that. She said, really? I said, yeah, you, you're not going to find a perfect place on earth. That's right. Okay, that's the point. And we you know? will pray for Spain too, and yeah. because we have friends. Oh, over we have there. friends over there. Yeah, yes. Jesus y Carlota, and and yeah. who we love dearly, and uh, yeah. that's a that's a tough place. Some that's a really missionaries that are over there. <coughs> yeah, Bless yeah, they're them, preaching. Lord. Yeah, and yeah, Jason Brock. For, yeah, you know, and uh, Bach. That's right, Bach. Yeah, yeah. We Sorry. pray for you. Yeah. Yes, but I was able to give this uh, this lady. Uh, attract and tell her about Jesus and say that, you know, there is a city, mm -hmm. there is a place that you can go that's perfect, perfect, absolutely perfect. And um, maybe you won't go there today, but you could actually, well, what I meant is I didn't want to think, think that, you know, she's going to die right now, you know. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> but we can actually enjoy the kingdom of God while we're living. Of the Lord. I do. Amen. I'm in the kingdom of God right now. right now. I may not be, you know, dead or glorified and off in heaven and pearly gates and all that stuff, but and I am really, really the kingdom of God. Uh, yeah, I'm in the kingdom of God now as a believer in Christ. Well, we can enjoy his presence. <coughs> Jesus yes. said, oh, I will send the comforter, which is the Holy Spirit. And, uh, and, and he's always with us. Now, wait a minute. Which one's God, the Holy Spirit or Jesus? Well, that's kind of controversial. <laughs> but <laughs> not anyway. with me, it's not. God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy yeah, Spirit. Yeah, well, I mean, all of us <laughs> yeah. know that. So I'm playing with The you. presence of the Lord is with us yeah. always, you know. And we have to remember that most of the time because a lot of time we get so worried about things that are going on around us. And, and we forget that the Holy Spirit is with us. Oh, He is. He and is. So be encouraged today and know that the Holy Spirit is with us until the end of this world. Yeah. So let me go ahead and have a word of prayer. Father, I ask for uh, mm -hmm. that lady who yes, came from Cuba. Cuban who's, lady. Who's, who's, who's scared of uh, what she sees, our yes, affinity yes. with communism. And uh, Strong, God, she you. knows... She knows that socialism is just a bridge over to communism. She told me she's been there and done that. But God, I uh, ask that you speak to her heart, really, yes, God. And uh, in this time of, God, she's scared and really kind of mm -hmm. desperate, God, she seemed. And Father, that you I would really just uh, bring her into your kingdom, mm -hmm. God. Lord, uh, uh, I, I told her what you did for me, and I ask that... Uh, mm -hmm. I ask God that your Holy Spirit just convict her of sin, Spirit of righteousness, of and of judgment. And everything that she needs to know about herself so that she can sí, confess her sins to you because you are faithful and just to forgive us of our hermana. sins and the cleanses of all unrighteousness. Señor, and uh, she could take a deep breath, a sigh of relief, temor, and just enjoy being in the kingdom of God. Whether it's under whether it's under capitalism or communism or socialism or... 
whatever isms in the world, God, Baha'ism, Hinduism, Buddhism, Islamism, uh, whatever God, even these religious things that are actually political, God, uh, Father, that she would just have comfort resting in you, that she would take your yoke upon her because your yoke <coughs> is easy and your burden is light, Father. In the name of Jesus, God. Amen. Amen. <coughs> Amen. And we pray for uh, Brendan Tucker, Brendan, uh, for God to bless you yeah. and encourage you. Uh -huh. God, I ask that you use Brendan. Yes. God, um, I think God I've known him all mighty. his life, at least it seems like it. God, mighty, mighty. It's, I know it's by your hand only that he's alive now. I know that. <coughs> and uh, he, he knows that too. God, there's no, 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 nobody should have survived yes, an impact Father like that. God. And, uh, yes, and uh, <coughs> Father, um, I pray for his heart, for the condition of his heart, Jesus. spiritual, for his spiritual well-being, God. Yes, Lord. Lord, that, <coughs> that he gets... Up. He gets excited about you and Raise draws close up, to you, God. And uh, of course, his physical Amen. body as well. He's doing therapy and being put back Thank together you. again yes. and all that, God. But um, um, I'm sure he'll understand, God, that uh, uh, the priority is our spiritual well-being, God, yes, is Lord, is most important, heart. God. We, we can live and die. And it, uh, God, we can die and... <laughs> you know, it, Everybody dies at some time, God. Hmm. And uh, so, Father, I just pray for his spiritual being. Because my motive, Lord, you know my heart, God, but um, my heart is that I want an army to raise up. I want an army to raise up yes, and march glory. across this land right yes, here. Lord. God, I've spent, you, you know the years of my life I've spent outside of this country, my native country, mm -hmm. God. <clears throat> but I'm asking for a real, uh, of yes, course I would love to see what's called, we call you a move of God. But yes. Lord, I know the requirements for you mm -hmm. to move. That's I right. know what things you confirm. And I Salvation. know that you confirm your word. And I know that if your word, your word is not honored and kept and studied and treasured and sought, that there will be no revival. There will be no revival. Unless your word no is No word, out. no revival. Yes. I understand, God, that everything, was, everything that is made was made because your word. God said. That's right. I understand the power of your yes, word, Father. the logo, the Christ who came, mm -hmm. the expression, the, the communication. Yes, God. I get Thank it, you, God. God. I got it. And so Jesus. I ask for Brandon to be part of that army. It's going to march across, yes, across this country right here yes, and bring a hope Lord. that this country doesn't Te have now. Brandon. It doesn't have it. It doesn't have it. And that's not because one party's in and another Levante party Levante. out or... What, whatever it's not about God who's running this and who's signing that and who's spending this uh, God it's it's about you you are the Prince of Peace you're the ones God Lord the nations are in your hand and you can turn the heart of the king wheresoever you wither God wherever you will but God your will is always always scripturally I can see clearly that your will is absolutely always in relation to the hearts and <coughs> attitudes of your people that sí, live señor. in that land, not the world. Lord Jesus, you didn't pray for the world. You prayed for those that were in, in the, the world. world that belonged to you. Mm -hmm. And that those, we, the church of Jesus Christ, are the key to any nation. That's right, Lord. Raise us and up. this nation. So raise, raise up. us up for this nation, yes, God. Father. Amen. Sí, Señor, oramos por esta generación, Señor, por todos los jóvenes, por todas las personas, Señor, que te necesitan este día. Señor, te pedimos por la salvación de los jóvenes, te pedimos por la, por la generación de esta de esta generación, Señor, que se levante en el nombre de Jesús. Señor, muchas veces 
Nosotros queremos, queremos ver avivamiento, pero la única manera que vamos a encontrar avivamiento es de llevar tu palabra a los perdidos para que ellos sean salvos. Te pido, Señor, que tú levantes tu pueblo, que tú levantes esta juventud, Señor, que aquellos que se han ido de, de tu presencia, te pido que tú los vuelvas a ti, Señor, que ellos vuelvan a ti, que encuentren perdón, que tú los perdones de sus pecados, que ellos se arrepientan de sus pecados. Padre, te pido que tú traigas un avivamiento de arrepentimiento sí, señor. en los corazones traigo, de los traigo, perdidos, de, de, los, de aquellos, Señor, pródigos que se han ido, de, de, de tu presencia, Señor, te pido que tú los vuelva, los traiga, los salve, los cambie, los transforme, los use. Señor, te pido que la que el Espíritu Santo, Señor, llegue a sus corazones uh -huh. y transforme sus vidas. Señor, te pido que esta generación se levante en el nombre de Jesús, quebrantamos, derrotamos toda maldición del enemigo, que toda cadena del Reprendemos. enemigo que, los, que la tienes atado en entre vicios y y, y cosas sexuales, Señor, pornografía y, y toda maldad del enemigo, Señor, te pido que tú derrumba esos muros espirituales, Señor, en las vidas de estos jóvenes, que tú levante a la juventud, Señor, que tú traigas salvación y arrepentimiento y que tú los use para tu gloria. En el nombre de Jesús te pido, Señor, por todos nuestros amigos y las naciones <coughs> latidas, Señor, en, en México, en, en Cuba, Señor, en República Dominicana, en, en Señor, en, en, en España, en, aquí en Estados Unidos, todos los latinos, Señor, que están perdidos, todos nuestros hijos de familia, Señor, que se han perdido Sur y Centroamérica, te pido la salvación, la transformación, Señor, te pido que se arrepienta de, de todo pecado y que sean levantados para un ejército espiritual para tu gloria, sí, señor. señor. Ya no somos sí, esclavos del pecado, Señor. Ya no somos esclavos del pecado. Levanta tu, esta generación, los jóvenes, Señor, los hijos, Señor. Te pido que tú les des la fuerza. Yo sé que el enemigo tiene atado a toda esta juventud y quiere destruirlo, pero para ti no hay nada imposible. Te pido por cada padre y madre, Señor, que oren por sus hijos, que le hablen la palabra de Dios por sus hijos, que no tengan temor de ellos, que no se avergüencen de hablarle tu palabra, sino que levanten sus ánimos espirituales sí, y que señor. el Espíritu Santo, Señor, <coughs> los lleve a buena obra para tu gloria y para tu honra. En el nombre de Jesús, Señor. Amén, amén, amén. <coughs> wow. Amen. Sí, Señor Jesús. What a privilege amen. to pray. Amén. Amen. Well, we you can still fire him in and, and yeah. let us know. Um, well, we continue to pray for Luis, eyes, and Sarah, and, uh, and mine eyes. Well, we did that earlier, Father God. We, we continue to pray for every single person that's having eyes issue, even my eyes, Lord. We ask you... Total healing and Kike and Sarah and mine and, and David, everybody, Lord, that having eyes issue today, Father, I ask you that your healing virtue will flow in the bodies, uh, 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 in our bodies, Lord. These bodies are temporary, but Lord, we ask you encouragement. Padre, cada persona que tiene problema con los ojos, Señor, te pido la sanidad por todas las personas que tienen problema con los ojos, Señor, espíritu de, de cegamento, le echamos afuera en el nombre de Jesús. Te pido que tú levantes y, Señor, sane las personas que tienen pro problema con los ojos este día, en el nombre de Jesús. Amen. Amen. Y también, Señor, oramos, Señor, por todas las personas que tienen problemas, Señor, de enfermedades, que la sanidad, Señor, tú los toques, que el Espíritu Santo toque cada persona, sea de, de virus o sea de, de enfer otras enfermedades, Padre, pon tu mano sanadora sobre ellos este día. Todas las personas, Señor, que están necesitadas de ti hoy en día, no solamente la sanidad, la salvación, la transformación, el levantamiento del Espíritu, Dios mío, que tú levantes todos los cristianos que están caídos, todas las personas que están pasando por pruebas y tribulaciones, 
oraciones, que ellos entiendan, Señor, que tu palabra es verdadera, Señor, que tu palabra tiene la última palabra, Padre, eres tú nuestra esperanza, que pongamos nuestros ojos en ti, ya no somos esclavos de este mundo, levanta tu pueblo, levanta tu iglesia, levanta a los pastores, Señor, dale ánimos a los pastores, dale fuerza, Señor, dale la virtud del poder del Espíritu Santo, la autoridad para reprender y para echar fuera todo lo malo de la iglesia y que las almas vengan a Señor a tus pies levanta Señor a tu pueblo en el nombre de Jesús Amen, Amen, Amen Ok, well we've got a lot of stuff coming in here Ok, so, yeah. so I want to be able to get praying. Keep praying. Uh, Yeah, uh, let, let me read this and um, I'm going to try to edit it as I go because I, I don't You know, the, there's a certain amount of confidentiality where people talk about, you know, this stuff that is, is, is not, mm -hmm. it's not really proper to release, you know, um, online, on the air. But, we, yes. but God knows. Uh, we want to pray for Judith. And okay. um, <clears throat> let's see, she's uh, got a bad bout with rheumatoid arthritis yes, and uh, type 2 seen. diabetes, high cholesterol, cirrhosis of the liver. Mm. Wow, that's for starters. Yes, <clears throat> okay, she deals with a lot mercy. of pain, and um, and she's having real issues mm. uh, from the liver damage going into other things. She loves the Lord, and uh, mm. she realizes she'll be going home, uh, yes. but she wants prayers and support. And, uh, mm -hmm. you know, so also... Her name is Judy Van Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. No, yes. Judith. Yes, yes, Judith yes, yes. Okay. is her name. Okay. Yes. So we want to uh, pray for Judith. Her. Father... Yes, I ask right Jesus, now, God, that Father you God, touch uh, Judith. Judith God, she's got all have kinds of stuff on going her. on. I know we don't live forever, mercy, God, but Jesus. I don't. I don't. Um, have mercy on her, Jesus. Touch I don't. Today. I don't think that it's. Senior well, word. I know that death was never your plan. Senior the death word, was Jesus. not plan. Plan A, the death by came in by sickness, one man's sin. Death or sin entered lover. the world and death, yes. you know, and sin, death, and, mm. and uh, uh, or sin led to death. And Father, she can go be with you, that's fine. But God, I'm asking you to heal her We body, ask you God. For a miracle. Cirrhosis of the liver, Touch the, her. Uh, Give her in your liver, Lord. the cholesterol stuff, or who knows. Give triglycerides, the there's, the there's a million Jesus. things, liver, um, you know, <clears throat> that is causing swelling in her yes, body and Lord not Jesus. functioning right, and and the pain, <clears throat> God, would you take her pain away? Yes, We ask, Lord Father, Jesus. in Jesus' Lord name, Lord. that you go to the yes, root of Lord. the problems, the organs Spirit. in her body that are not functioning, Rheumatized. the diabetes, pancreas, and yes, all that. All these God, problems, bring Father. Give her, her a new her body. body, God. Lord, if she goes home, that's fine, Jesus, but we can please. go home without a lot of pain and and uh, Restore her body, complications, Father. God. Have but mercy on her. And Lord, I'm not Jesus telling you how to run. <laughs> I'm not telling you how life is designed and architecturally how how things could have been different. Uh, but God, I know that we are a we are a fallen race. Mankind is in a fallen state, and there is a lot of suffering that has come in. And it was never. It was never. It was never your will that sin enter this world. I understand that, God. Jesus, I believe Jesus that, God. So I do pray Jesus, for Judith right now that Jesus you bring comfort name. to her heart and health to her organs. Yes, and, Lord um, Jesus. God, just <coughs> relieve the pain. Yes, Lord Amen. Jesus. Amen. And the same way I pray for caring, Father God, in the name of Jesus, that you touch her body, that you restore her, God, and every person that is having either muscles or, or, or anything, God, that liver and oh, diabetes, Lord. cancer. Help. Father God, I pray that you restore every single body. With, Lord Jesus, rebuke the spirit of sickness in everybody's body. In the name of Jesus, Karen, we ask the name of Jesus. We ask the Lord Jesus to touch you this day, to restore <laughs> you. And Connie, the same way this day, God, that you restore Connie, encourage her, Lord, and to know, Father God, that you are the healer of our bodies, the healer of our souls. In the name of Jesus, the Lord 
Jesus rebuke every cancer, every diabetes, every muscles that in in uh, anything that is coming against the body's father, arthritis. The Lord Jesus rebuke you. You have no right any viruses in the bodies of people. In Let Jesus name, we curse the Lord Jesus, name. Jesus rebuke you. In, in Jesus, Jesus name. name, yes, Lord Jesus. And we have Thank someone you, with sepsis and. Uh, Another Jesus person touched. recovering from lung damage yes, caused Lord, by COVID. Healing. And Jesus, Father, healing, healing, Lord. they've requested, and we ask, God, we're asking Touch you him, Lord. to go to those people, Lord. Jesus. They know who they are. They the know what happened. Jesus. They know all the details the about Jesus. it, Father. And uh, that you would bring healing, yes, that you would heal them. Yes, heal Lord. them completely, God, yes, Father God, in such a manner Jesus. that they will give the honor and credit the to you. Jesus. Yes, Lord. Amen. Yes, Lord, and Chet, <clears throat> for a new heart and <clears throat> total restoration for his body. Lord God, you, you're the creator. You create our bodies. And Father, we, you said in the name of Jesus, whatever we ask in Jesus' name, believing and, and knowing, God, that, that, that you, Lord, are powerful enough to, to kill and to destroy every attacks of the enemy, spirits of sicknesses in our body. Especially today, Father God. Lord, especially today, give Jed a new heart, Father God. And Lord, the same way I pray, Lord, uh, Lord God, that your Holy Spirit, Lord, for Debbie and, and for all these people that are sick, Lord God, fibromyalgia, in the name of Jesus, Darla, the name of Jesus, bind that spirit of sicknesses in the, in the bodies of all your people. Let your healing virtue flow, Jesus. Lord, reach out to your people today. Father, the, there are so many sicknesses, but I know that you're greater. You're greater than the spirits that are coming against us, Father. In Jesus' name. Señor, en el nombre de Jesús, todas las personas que tienen cáncer, todas las personas que tienen diabetes, todas las personas que tienen problema, Señor, físico, Señor, en el nombre de virus, Señor, en el nombre de Jesús, tú dices tu palabra, que si nosotros oramos y creemos que tú eres poderoso, Señor, para destruir todos los ataques y espíritus del maligno, en el nombre de Jesús, Señor, re reprende, Señor Jesús, todas estas enfermedades, échalas fuera en el nombre de Jesús, Échala al abismo en el nombre de Jesús, Señor. Levanta a tu pueblo, levanta a cada cual, a cada uno que está necesitado. En tu nombre, Cristo. And Father, in Jesus' name, I pray for Rebecca. Rebecca yes. is in yes, jail. And mm -hmm. God, I don't know where her life has been or what Jesus, or the situation imagine. around it. All I know is that you yes. are not surprised, God. And uh, you are not unconcerned or impassionate but God your love and open arms are reaching to her God yes, Lord. and uh, so much here, Jesus that her. you spread them out on a cross to be nailed down for Rebecca yes Lord. Jesus your vicarious death the wounds yes, that you Father take God. the beard that was ripped out of your face the the, of your visage that was scarred above that of any oh, man Lord, was her. for Rebecca, God, visit because her you right love now, her. Lord, Father, I ask that you reach her in that yes, situation Lord, that she's in, in right now. God, in that jail cell. Yes, um, Lord. I pray that you in get a Jesus. Bible to her, God. Yes. Uh, I know her mom has Lord. requested this, God, and uh, uh, apparently it has to come from a publisher or something and be, and be paperback. And... Uh, God, I, I don't, I don't under, uh, I don't understand this, Lord. But um, if there's a breakdown in mm -hmm. the prisons where the prisoners cannot get Your word, Jesus, God, I ask, ask that you. that be removed. I mean, judicially or Rebuke just supernaturally, the God. Enemy that's uh, against make it where the, the prison things. chaplains and in people like that Jesus. can actually give Open Bibles doors, to Lord. inmates there, God. Open the that's, doors, uh, Jesus. Uh, so I don't know if this implies or if this is a special circumstance. Um, but either Jesus. way, I pray for the prison chaplains and the ministers Jesus. to be able to bring the Word of God yes, to the prisoners in the name there of Jesus. without, without whatever the, the restrictions are. I'm sure there's security, in the but uh, God, in a world that hates you, 
maybe they're not. Maybe they just don't want your word in the prisons. Jesus. Uh, God, you've, been on, you've watched every second of the history of mankind and how many people, political and religious and every other thing, have fought with all their strength to remove philosophers, have fought with all their strength to remove your word from all of humanity. God, the Bibles that have been burned and confiscated and the, and the, and the military armies that have marched to remove, God, your Bible, even all those thousands, un countless people that have been put to death because they possessed a Bible, God. Well, Lord, right now I ask that Rebecca in prison get a Bible. That she get a Bible. That's all. That she get a Bible. That somehow, some way, if I don't care if it materializes, God, get a Bible to her, Father, please. That's our request for her in Jesus' name. Amen. And Father, the same way, Lord God, that you break the chains, Lord God, in the spirit realm, we ask you, Lord God, that you also break the chains, Lord God, in in their hearts, Lord, that they will be released to you, that they will find salvation and transformation. I pray for every person that is in jail. God, I pray, Father God, that you visit them. You visit them by your spirit, Lord. Lord, speak to them. Give them vision, dreams about you, Lord God. And Lord, relieve, release them, Lord, from the chains of darkness and set them free, bring salvation and transformation. And like David said, Lord, we break the chains of the enemy that's trying to close these doors. Lord, for the gospel to penetrate the prisons. Father God, in the yes, name of yes, Jesus, really. break the chains. Lord, let the doors be open. In the name of Jesus, in the same way, Father God, we pray for our, our nation, that the doors will be open in our nation. Lord God, for everything, God, that we rebuke the devourer. The Lord Jesus rebuke the devourer that's coming against your people. That's coming against, Lord God, for speaking, Lord, truth and salvation in, in the gospel in our nation. The Lord Jesus rebuke every spirit of the enemy that's coming against your people, that's coming against us, Lord, to kill and to destroy. And Father, this morning, Father God, I pray for our nation. I pray, God, that you bring unity that you bind the spirit of, of, of hate, the spirit of, of division, Lord God, and bring salvation, bring transformation. Lord, many times we, we pray for a revival, but Lord, the revival is not going to come until repentance come. It's not going to come until your word is preached into the hearts of the lost. And Father, I pray that your church will rise. Rise up, church. Rise up. In the name of Jesus, Lord, help us, Lord, to stop looking around us in the pitiness of our, of our lives and help us to look for the future, Lord, for the everlasting covenant that we have with you, which is salvation. Help us, Lord, to stay focused in your word, to stay focused in you, Jesus, to bring salvation to the lost and all those around us. In the name of Jesus, Señor, tú conoces la situación de las naciones. Te pido, Señor, que tú quites de nosotros el espíritu de víctima, el espíritu de, yeah, amen, de, amen. de, de contrariedad. De, señor, que tú traiga unidad. Señor, quita, Señor, ese espíritu malo que, que de, Señor, que pone temor en nuestros corazones, que pone envidia, que pone odio los unos con los otros en las naciones. Y este día, Señor, reprendemos. Señor Jesús, reprende esos espíritus malos. Señor, tú dices en tu palabra que la única manera que vamos a ser revividos y vamos a traer salvación es por medio de tu palabra. Traer salvación a los perdidos. Levanta, Señor, a los pastores. Levanta los ánimos a tu pueblo. Y Señor, y hay, perdona nuestras culpas. Así como perdonamos a otros, perdónanos, Señor. Señor, te pedimos arrepentimiento de corazón a todo, Señor, tu pueblo que está necesitado de ti este día, para que tú sane las naciones, para que tú sane tu pueblo. Señor, hay mucha gente que no quiere perdonar. Hay mucha gente que lleva, Señor, muchas cosas en sus corazones. A un temor, Señor. 
Pero, Señor, este día, el Espíritu Santo quebranta esas cadenas que tiene atado a tu pueblo, Señor, para matar y destruir lo que tú tienes, el plan de sus vidas. Señor, quita los temores, Señor, los temores de esa enfermedad de este virus. Quita de entre nosotros, Señor, este, todo lo que, Señor, no te agrada en nuestros corazones, las mentiras, la, las cosas, Señor, que no te agrada. Tú dices en tu palabra, Señor, que sí, que todas estas cosas, Señor, no vamos a entrar en el reino del cielo. Las mentiras, no perdonar, Señor, no amar, Señor, todo esto, Señor, la pornografía, Señor, la maldad, Señor, el aborto, todas estas cosas, Señor. No podemos entrar en el reino de los cielos hasta que se seamos limpiados de toda la maldad, de sexualidad, Señor. Todas las cosas malas que el enemigo nos tiene atado, nos tiene atado, Señor, en cadenas. Pero en este día, Señor, te pedimos libertad, especialmente la juventud, Señor. Ya que dejen de yeah, buscar, Señor, que dejen de buscar la, la, la inmoralidad sexual, Señor, y dejen de buscar, Señor, los sentimientos de, de cómo somos víctimas, Señor. Danos, Señor, esa fuerza espiritual, que miremos a ti, Señor, porque la única esperanza que tenemos eres tú. Y ya tú nos has dado salvación, Señor, que podamos obtener la salvación y perdón de ti, para que, Señor, seamos, Señor, libre, libre del pecado. Ya no somos esclavos <coughs> del pecado. Libéranos, Señor, y que podamos tener la paz tuya que reine en nuestros corazones. Levanta tu pueblo, Señor, en el nombre de Cristo Jesús. Gracias, Amen. Señor. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We Amen. thank you, Lord, for, for peace to be still. Peace to be still in the hearts of your people this day, God. Father, we are no longer slave to sin. Lord, raise up an army, an army with power, Lord. Encourage us, Lord, to keep our eyes on you, Lord. No matter what's going on, you're the only hope we have, yes, Father you are, God. Jesus. We commit our lives to you, Lord God. We commit to you our bodies, Lord. If we're sick, Lord, we ask you for total restoration. Lord, that you heal everyone that is sick. Every person, God, that, that is in need today, God, we ask you, Lord God, all the people, God, that are addicted to drugs, Lord, even phar pharmaceutical drugs, Father, I pray in the name of, against a spirit that's coming to, to slave us into this pharmaceutical drugs, Father. And I ask you, Father, that you release them, set them free, Father God. And Father God, every person, God, that is today, Father God, that is that is thinking about committing suicide because they can't take it any longer, especially the young people today. Father God, bind the spirit of suicidal spirit because this, is, this suicidal spirit comes from the pits of hell. And the Lord Jesus rebuke you. The Lord Jesus bind you. You had no right in the hearts and the bodies of God's people. And Father, set this generation free. Encourage them, God. Let them know that you have a plan, Lord Jesus, of salvation, eternal life for them. Lord, I pray for them, Lord, to be encouraged today. Rise up an army, O oh God, Lord, that will go forth in your name. We're no longer slaves to sin, Lord God. We are your people. Release your people today in the name of Jesus and help us, Lord, to keep our eyes on you yes. and nothing else yes, because Jesus. we need you, Father, that this nation <coughs> will turn to you. Father, we pray for for the president today, you say to pray, Lord, for the leaders of our nation. We pray for the leaders of our nation, for the whole White House. Father God, that your name be glorified in the White House today. That your kingdom come, that your will be done today in the White House, Lord. Not because of what we want, <coughs> but what you want. That your name be glorified. That your salvation will come to our nation that your salvation will transform the hearts of the people. God, it is in your hands, God. We commit it into your hands this day. Help us, Lord, to stay focused in you and to know, God, that you have the last word. In Revelation 21, you have the last word. Keep us away from evil. Deliver us away from evil, for yours is the kingdom. Yours is your glory, O oh God. 
in the power forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Thank Amen. you, Lord Jesus. Well, I wow. guess we kind of cover everybody, I hope. <laughs> and if yeah. not, we will pray for you. We will look up to your name. Oh my gosh, our time's gone already. Yeah, it's been a good hour of prayer. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for joining yeah. us. It's been awesome. And the Holy Spirit with us. And, you know, we were talking earlier, for those who have not joined us earlier, uh, <clears throat> we were talking earlier that, you know, the kingdom of God is in us. In, in that the Jesus, kingdom of God, yes, we are participants. We are, yes, correct. Yeah, and Jesus said, I will send the Comforter, which is the Holy Spirit. We have to remind ourselves every single day that the Holy Spirit is with us. Yeah, He's here. His presence is here. Let's trust Him today. Let's trust Jesus today and know that He's able to do above and beyond understanding. You know, many times I think we get in trouble because... Because we don't know how to put our trust in Jesus. And it's total dependency. I mean, I have to do it daily. As soon as I open my eyes, that's the first thing I got to do. Is say, Lord, here I am. I belong to you. Your will be done on earth that is in heaven. This day, yeah. O oh Lord. Amen. Okay, well, let me encourage you to uh, go check us out at nbt.org. Um, I noticed we're... we're, we're uh, this broadcast used to be on my Facebook profile, and it yeah. no longer shows yeah. up. Yeah. Okay, so anyway, what it means is perhaps there's a limitation, or I, I don't know what's happening, but what I do want to yeah. say is that uh, it will always, always be over on nbt.org, you know, so period. You'll always out. be able to check in with us and, you know, check you us know out. and pray with us there. I know we have people on uh, Periscope, which is, yeah. you know, and people on Twitch, gamers out there that watch and uh because well, we, we get the readings or the ratings or whatever the people coming in so there's a lot of people in different places you yes. know and um my facebook profile used to have quite a few uh but now, now it, they've just, been limited it, somehow it, and it just disappeared i'm not making any accusations or saying any you know thing <laughs> uh, i'm just simply saying that at nbt.org will always be there because we own the website. That's you know, right. And so that's it. Follow, you know. If you need any encouragement, send yeah. us your pr prayer requests on nbt.org. And if you need to hear any of the Word of God, we have our Bible most of the time. Oh, on. yeah, yeah. Al so, almost all the time. Uh, you can just go to nbt.org, and you're going to get a screen which says live and Bible is being streamed out, just reading so the Bible. So you can be encouraged. You know. So yeah. if you feel like discouraged today just go listen to the word of god yeah. the, the word is not, life the word is life it's all life yeah and by the way yeah. just fyi i don't just do the new testament uh i go from genesis to revelation all the way through. Old and new so it, it is there and uh th there's no way to scroll back and forth on live streaming it's just whatever is being played at the time you're mm -hmm. actually listening there in real time it's it, yes. it's there okay uh, uh, let me give one more prayer i feel like praying for shannon today and father oh, yeah. in the name of jesus we ask encouragement to shannon god and healing father god she needs healing bind jesus. yes the spirit of of sickness anything that's coming against her in the name of jesus the lord jesus rebuke you you had no right let her free in Jesus' name. And Father, I pray that you encourage her today and, and all the children at school right now, Father God. I pray for them, Lord, at her school, God, that Lord, give her wisdom, give her understanding, give her peace. I pray peace to be still in these kids and, and a heart, Lord, to, to, uh, yes. to search you and yes, to know God. you yeah. and also a heart to to be encouraged by what they're learning god that they be obedient giving the spirit obedience lord and not to be rowdy and and not to do their own things father just give them peace into their hearts yeah. peace be still in that school right now and father for all the schools all over america and the world there is there there's a lot of stuff happening god and i pray for the kids today god they are victims, Laura. They are, they are what's collateral going on today. damage, God. And Father, please have mercy on the children today, God. And I pray for the parents that you give them wisdom of how to, be encourage, how to encourage your children 
to Lord to spend time with them praying and to spend time with them reading the word of God. They need to be covered by the blood of Jesus. The yeah. children need to be covered by the blood of Jesus and they need the word of God into okay. their hearts. <clears throat> it's the only thing that's going to keep them for any damage that the world is throwing at them right now. Yes. Apply the blood of Jesus, Lord, put a bubble of the blood of Jesus over the schools today. And you know, every teacher put a bubble over them, Lord, and if they're not going to school and they are online, I pray, God, that you visit them online. And I pray that the children, Lord God, will be encouraged by you, by your Holy Spirit. Yes, Padre, Father. in este momento te pedimos por los niños que, que están en las escuelas y por las escuelas quizás la mayoría están cerradas. Señor, por los maestros te pido que tú los fortalezcas, los llenes de tu gracia. Te pido por Israel que tú los fortalezcas, los llenes de gracia para ayudar a los niños, Señor. Y aquellos niños, Señor, que, que son víctimas, Señor, de lo que está sucediendo hoy en día. Señor, el enemigo quiere matar y destruir y, y destruir la esperanza de los corazones de los niños. Te pido, Padre, que tú levantes los corazones de estos niños y te pido que los padres le enseñen la palabra de Dios a sus hijos desde pequeños, Señor, porque es la única esperanza que los niños van a tener y la esperanza eres tú, Señor. Te pido, Espíritu Santo, que tú levantes los ánimos de los niños, que la sangre de Cristo los cubra de todo mal, de todo peligro, que sus mentes sean cubridas con la sangre de Cristo. También, Señor, levanta los ánimos de los padres. Señor, ayúdalo, Señor, a vencer todas las, las maldiciones del enemigo que vienen en contra de sus familias y que tú traiga unidad Señor, unidad entre los padres Señor y los hijos, levántalo Señor y ayúdalo Señor, te pido por Israel, por su familia que tú traiga Señor total milagro en su situación que le está pasando milagro Señor, para ti no hay nada imposible y este día te lo ponemos en tus manos Father God, we commit them into your hand yes. that you do miracles today in every child, in Jesus' name, in every teacher, in every parent, in Jesus' yeah, name. Amen. <clears throat> amen. Okay, I just wanted to pray that yeah, because I believe yeah. that there is a spiritual need. Oh, there's a huge need. In the children today. What are you going to do with a generation that has no education? I mean, I, I know there are countries like that, <clears throat> but... Uh, it has been designed that this country be like that. And where They're did that it. come from? It's from, from the pits of hell. <clears throat> where the did Lord that Jesus come from? It. Yes. You know, yes. you want a way to destroy the nation? Wipe out its educational system. That's right. Where did that come from? It came from COVID. Where did COVID come yeah, from? From the pits of hell. China. To destroy and to God kill. God bless you. Just be strong, courageous. Keep your eyes on Jesus.